Hey guys, so sadly I've been sick lately and been mostly doing some lazy farm and helping boys out in Discord. If you are interested in playing Hexblast Saboteur, come join us by the way. But some time ago I was thinking about what is the most absolute brain dead way of farming for big amount of divines, except for trading of course. And the thing that popped in my mind was boss rushes. And while yeah, boss rushes are good, especially with Sanctum here and there, I found that my Sanctum luck is well below average, so just counting on lucky divines, I'm gonna cut it. Putting all my 10 IQ into the search of sacred treasure, I remembered that some weeks ago I was doing a bunch of Shaper Guardian sets and that was very profitable. But since my build is not that zoomy, doing Maze of Minotaur or suffering two Chimera phases sounded like a complete dog. So why not Elder Slayers, I thought. Sure, cost of entry is a tiny bit higher, but we can Horizon maps for better layouts and all Elder Slayers fights, except for drugs, are one phase and super quick. So the idea was buy bulk sets of Conqueror maps, buy bulk Elder Slayers invitations, roll maps with Horizon orbs, layouts such as Canyon on T14, Ashen Woods on T15 or Graveyard on T16 are the best in my opinion. Roll invitations for 80 plus quantity and corrupting them, so they can hit something like 100 and plus. And setting up a pretty standard wandering path tree, but grabbing harvest just because I love harvest. Then turning on music and just blast them, absolutely mindlessly. You should only kill stuff if you think you can die to it, or if you need flask charges. And we will only detour up to one screen maximum for sanctum and or harvest growth. So we go in, we rush to the boss, we kill it, we kill Conqueror and port out immediately. If we see Sanctum or Harvest in our way, we do it. But you can skip them if you want to bump profit per hour a bit more while upping the cost of entry. Then we quickly do an invitation and repeat everything. As always, everything is compiled into a spreadsheet below. Completing one set on average took me like 5 minutes, but since I found that 5 minutes per set pace is a bit too much after a while, for my calculation I will use much more conservative 7 minutes per set time. I spent about 1 divine per each set and gained on average 0.75 divine profit per each set. Core of the profit comes from Maven Reads, Serious Sets and Elder Slayer's Invitations. I found that on average I could sustain like 70% of invitations myself, but I would still advise buying them in advance and selling off those witch drops. I think it's just easier and faster that way. I gained on average 5 series fragments from each invitation round total, and on average I gained like 6.3 Maven Sprinters. So in total, for 28 sets I spent around 28 divines and gained somewhat around 37.5 divines back, which does not sound that amazing I know, but... That number does not take into account other drops that you are consistently getting, such as Cortex Divine cards, Conqueror's Exalted Orbs, Orbs of Conflict, you get a Conqueror Shaper and Elder maps, and of course some Life Force. Summing everything up and selling everything, which took around one and a half hour at a standard market price with no undercutting, I gained a total profit of 21 divines, which roughly translates to 6.5 divines per hour, which is pretty fucking good in my opinion for such mindless farm with almost no peanut drops. Well, that's mostly everything I wanted to show you today. Now let's go bless some guardians.